Until the next time, all my love. Recklessness and the lethal, uncommunicating ice ripped through the steep, audacious metal dream. And the 507 vittling crew were fed to the sea. With the 438 gallons of ice cream and the 190 bundles of cheese and the 2,500 pounds of sausages. Salt water mixed with the fresh water brought for the first class passengers showers and drenched into the pile of Axminsters and Wiltons the tapestries, the 8,000 cigars, the 11 cases of orchids, the 40,000 eggs, oh, shell break and yolk float. Seawater made a monstrous dough of the 250 barrels of flour, a macabre laundry of the 45,000 napkins and 18,000 bed sheets. Six Steinways thumping, tantrumed, swamping sonatas. A music flooded with furthers and unders. Plain and smoked sardines, potted shrimps, Norwegian anchovies, soused herrings returned to the deep, and sacks and sacks and sacks of letters. Until the next time, all my love, I hope to hear from you soon, dear. Dearest sir, darling dearest, as language sealed the ocean's envelope around its soluble sentiments. Morse code and Marconi's code fought over the alphabet. CQD, SOS, Flashlamps, unanswered beams, tilting to heaven and hell. Underwater bell, signalling thumps and grumbles in its own demented dialect. They think now it was steel itself. The stupid speed, the sharp ice, sharp speed, stupid ice, the misreading of it all caused the rip. But the fracture, the crack, the fissure ran and ran and sundered because steel itself then was not strong enough to keep the faith. How do we make of our lives a vessel wild enough to hold the dancing and the decadence? What can we use to stay afloat 